Hey, what's up, everybody? We're live. We're uh, we're in the nerdery tonight, and uh, I have uh, AJ and Brandon. What's up, guys? Hey, hey. I'm. Uh, this is so impromptu, so last minute. Nothing's prepared. This is, you know, total as Slacious would say, total rock and roll. But um, uh, this is the setup I have right now. You know, I call it the nerdery, and tonight is the last night of this setup. So. Um, you know, th- this all came from being stuck at home for years and having a lot of time and, and wanting uh, a hobby. So I really like I love and appreciate what I have. So tonight we're just going to honor the gods for a minute and be grateful for it. And then uh, I thought we could uh, talk about plans for the. I'll show you guys the current setup and then we'll uh, we'll talk about plans for the future and stuff. But, um, yeah. you know, again, man, this, this display has been just a lot of fun to curate and put together. And when we were stuck at home <laughs> and stressed or, you know, not, not having a lot of options, like, uh, um, you know, this, this brought a lot of relief and joy. So I thought that would be, uh, uh I wanted to note that. Um, what about you guys? Did you guys curate more, um, during the lockout than you did previously? Go ahead. Brian. Okay. Uh, this is, all since uh, this this past August, so this this is all. I I was living in an apartment, uh, and then I decided to move home. So I'm in, I'm in my my childhood bedroom, and I've I've got this space now. And it was just this bookshelf of Star Wars stuff that started out with just these two shelves. But I mm-hmm. definitely have this is all because of the lockdown. I started my YouTube channel shortly before everything shut down. I started last January. And then recently I got, I got my first yeah. Detolf, Detolf. So, um, yeah, it's a definitely. slippery slope, man. Two turns into six. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, AJ? Um, well, no, for me, I, I, I wouldn't say I bought anything more than I had, mm-hmm. you know, been buying, uh, pre lockdown. Um, cause I mean, I've been a collector for, 20, 25 years or something. So it, it's kind of more, um, I just kept on collecting, I guess, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I did add the shelves behind me. Um, I kind of had some, just some other shelves like along the wall there and stuff just displayed randomly throughout the house and up here on, on my third floor bonus room. But yeah, that, I guess that's what I worked on. Yeah, dude. Yeah. What, that's a heck of a project. <laughs> I love yeah. and I love the lights and everything. I love how it's staged. It's so cool. Um, if you got, I, I'm going to say hi to people who came in real quick. Uh, hey, Gary, thanks for hanging out, man. Um, appreciate you coming. Offworld Adam, what's up, dude? Steve-O, that's right, buddy. Hey, man, uh, hey, you, you got the link. Hop, hop on, Steve-O, if you're free, man. Offworld Adam, again, Adam. thank you. Jedi Trek. Hello. Hello there. This is awesome, man. I, I'm so grateful all these people came in. Paul's Collectibles. Yeah, it's definitely cool. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Just got to hang out with Paul for uh, the first time a couple weeks ago. And then Vern. Hey, Vern, hey, uh, with the power outage right now. Poor guy. Hope it comes back on soon, bud. That sucks. I got a lot of empathy for that. So, all right, guys. So the agenda is this: we're gonna we're gonna thank the toy gods. I am gonna make an offering uh, to the toy gods. I'm gonna open up Electra as a thank you, as, as a good offering. And uh, as as Brandon and I were just talking about that, I did make a huge offering earlier this week, but it totally paid off. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna this is a I'm not asking for anything. This is a, a gratitude for right. and then and then may bequeath all of you uh, uh, good bounties this week. And then uh, I'll, I'll give you guys a tour of the nerdery as it stands now, and then I'll show you guys my plans for the future, and then we can uh, discuss, man. I want I want your guys' ideas, and same with everyone in chat, man. I love yeah. uh, you know I love crowdsourcing this stuff. So so um, um oh. yeah, I was no, gonna definitely. ask, would you like me to make an offering too? Yeah, dude, you want I, it? I am thankful for Do everything it. that I found. So I'm going to open my first GI Joe. Oh, oh nice. no way! Yeah. Nice. Dude, that's oh, yeah. awesome. Roadblock. Yep. Hey, I can do a an offering as well. Oh, I have, uh... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Wanda, I love it. I love yeah. it. All right, so I'm gonna 
you know, I always, these are, by the way, these are the Tony Stark sunglasses. So I use these, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing an offering, but, uh, anyways, just to be silly for a minute, dude, toy gods, thank you for this room. Thank you for all, most importantly, all the friends that I've met, uh, over the last year, uh, collecting and doing this channel and Twitter. That's really been the best part of what's come out of it is I'm not just hoarding this in my closet. I now have a community of people that I can just, I could just ping and be like, you guys want to hop on and be silly for a minute and then talk toys and, and, you know, we're hanging out. So, uh, I'm so grateful for all this and, uh, I'm extra excited for, uh, what's coming now and, and the next version of it. So toy gods, thank you for your merciful bounty this week. And I give you, I will give you this offering yeah, as yeah. gratitude. Yeah. All right, guys, that's enough of that buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's do an offering. I love this. You know, and actually, this is good because um, those of you who watch Three Men and a Monkey Lizard, uh, normally we do a live unboxing, and then this week we did not get to it. So, um, uh, mm-hmm. so this is actually probably good that we're doing this. So I don't know about you guys, but for um, – you know, even though I'm opening, I still like to keep the box nice and as minty as possible, right? So, uh, for legends, do you guys do the same? I, I just cut along this little ledge here and then pop it open that way just to keep the box. Yeah. 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 I think it's important. Even though I end up getting rid of the box, I still try to treat it nicely. Yep. I, I keep them because you never know. You know what I mean? Oh, no, I definitely like to put them back in the box when I rotate them out. Yep, exactly. And, you know, the other thing I've been doing is I've been leaving um, uh, any accessories I don't take out or use. I leave them in there. Um, and then that way yep. I just they're always in the right place. Because how many accessories do we have that are almost exactly the same? And I originally started storing them. Yeah, dude, I have them in storage, and then I'm like, it, yeah, I, I thought over time it would be hard to know who's who. Oh, that's cool. If you guys oh. can see that, that's like the Daredevil uh, city background. I do have bags like this also, full yep. of heads and pieces. Yeah. So. When, uh, when I do the room tour, I'll show you guys how I have uh, all mine. I, I've got like a storage box. On it. Oh, she's rubber band. Have you guys ever seen that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Usually I've... legends don't have that, though. Yeah. No. Look, I don't know if you could see, but that is totally rubber banded in the back. Huh. Dude. I'm trying to think. There are a couple figures that I have opened recently that have had the rubber bands, and I'm trying to think which ones they are. Uh, the NECA alien up there was one of them, but I'm trying to think. Oh, man, dude. She is really cool. Holy cow. Oh, 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 dude. So um, part of what is so cool about this figure was that I was traveling for work in the Philadelphia area this week. And then I was up in Allentown and I found just like a really cool vintage toy store. And uh, she was there. So um, and I've wanted this figure for a long time. I'm a big fan of Electra. Um, but look at that face sculpt, guys. Yeah, man. That's so cool. And then the way her hair is in the back. It's just. It looks awesome, man. Just her dress hangs off her well. Really, really I, cool figure. I got her maybe um, maybe a month ago or something. She popped up on Amazon for I think it was like twenty two ninety nine, maybe. So I grabbed it. I hadn't opened her yet, though. But that, that is a really cool figure. Dude, it's really cool. I'm going to put the size in her hands. Nice. Um, and I, cause I have the other lecture, the MCU one, which is, is also a really, really good thing. Like her it's face. Ball, right? Uh, yeah, she's got like that half. Yeah. But it, it's an impressive face call, like even in the eyes and stuff, but, oh dude, that's even better, man. Look at, look at those with the size. Nice. Yeah, buddy. That's a great, great comic book figure. All right. What are you guys opening? I got my first G.I. Joe Roblox. Well, actually, this is the most recent one that came, but this is going to be the first one I open. And, oh, I should have uh, big screened it last time. Sorry, guys. No, oh, it's, it's all good. Um, I, I do want to thank the Toy Gods because I did go on a 10-hour road trip to find all of the Clone Wars figures. And the only one that I saw 
on the the actual sale floor um, is Anakin, and there were only two of them. The rest I had to ask. Um, nice for for the back, but I got I got those all in one day, which made me really happy. That's um, awesome, man. They're they're great. And then the first stop I made on the whole trip was a two hour target. And there were five of these major bloods hanging on the pegs. And I know people have had a hard time. So, so I figured I'd put out good karma and good juju. And I picked up a couple extra and sent one to Papa Gord and then another one to G force racing. So this is, this is my first GI Joe that I'm going to open. I've got a couple other ones now, but uh... yeah, I think I sent out uh, four of the major bloods. Yeah, yeah I ran into it like uh, a whole box of them one one morning, so I was able to go there into another store and, and get enough to ship out. Yeah, and it's it's completely random because I found something for sleeping collectibles. Uh, a, a wrestling figure that he wasn't able to find. And I was in uh, Northern Minnesota in, on the iron range in a, like a town of 6,000 people. And it, uh, there were all these figures that people have had a hard time finding. I was like, well, it's because there's probably no collectors around here. What's up, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hey, hey. how are we doing this evening? Good, man. Good. Having a little fun. We, uh, we, we were each making an offering to the Toy Gods, so uh, mine was uh, the comic book version of Electra. Ah, very nice. And then uh, I, uh, this is one of the two figures I found uh, with that vintage toy store in Allentown this week. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally going to go there. Oh, dude, yeah, it, it's worth it. There's so much neat stuff in there. Oh, man, he's cool. There we got Roadblock. And it, I thought it was going to be a slap in the face if I didn't pick up some of these figures that people have had a hard time getting because uh, <laughs> I, I, they were just sitting there, and I was like, I can't just leave them. <laughs> don't want to. You were duly obligated by the toy gods to bring them home. Exactly. It was dude, a rescue did, mission. It, it, dude, he's 100% right. If you did, you would have dishonored the toy gods. I wouldn't have found right. any of those clone troopers. Yep. Exactly. Clone Wars figures. Exactly. That's why I felt like I, I, when I found that collectible store, I felt like I couldn't leave it empty handed. You know what I mean? Like, and if there really wasn't anything, I wouldn't have done it. But like, I just, I had to honor the toy guys and I like supporting a small business. Yeah, absolutely. These are cool. Um, oh, there's nice. a little, little pocket for his knife. And I'm trying to think, see what else. I have no idea what this is. By by the way, I want to say we we've got like 13, 14 people watching, and thank thank you guys for just hanging out impromptu here to, you know, have a good send off for the nerdery. You guys are awesome. So have you got it planned out how you're going to uh, set everything up, dude? I, I've I've got some ideas. Yeah, so I'll uh, we're going to walk through in just a second once. Uh, so everyone's going to unbox, and then I was going to give like a, just a a tour of the current setup. And then I was going to show you guys what my plans are for uh, for 2.0. Nice. All right. If I've got anything, I can unbox. Oh yeah, dude. Honor the toy gods. All right, AJ. All right, so I'm going to do the Wandavision. Nice. Scarlet Witch. Very cool. Um, yeah, I kind of lucked out on her. She she came up on Walmart on Wednesday. Um. Two day shipping and yeah, got it on Friday. And I had her pre ordered already from from Pulse, but I don't think that's shipping until like September or something ridiculous. So, yep. I finally got my Heroes of Endor this week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. No, no way, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, hey, real quick, I just want to say. Um, Thank you to John Joker. Um, that dude, that is so cool of you. Um, like, I, I don't even know what to say, man. That is so cool. I, I just hit a thousand subs, and that is my you. You just popped my super chat cherry, man. You're my very first. <laughs> so, 
Um, I, you always remember your first, dude. But I, I can't even believe that, man. That is, that's just so kind of you. And uh, it, I promise it will go to good use to uh, making, uh, getting things to have content to share, man. That's so cool, you dude. I, I don't even know what to say, man. Thank you. Very kind, man. I'm just, cool. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy. Any you guys are here hanging out, man. That that's a gift in and of itself. So thank you, guys. Preach, brother. Love it. Oh, one is awesome. Oh, dude, she's so cool. There we go. Yes. Um, and she does come with some uh, kind of the translucent hands. hands. Jazz oh, hands. Yep. Just pretty they're, cool. They're, they're glowing. And that's the, cool. The little, whatever you call this stuff. The effects. The... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's the cool. hex I mean, effects, right? Uh, nice head sculpt. Yeah, she's great. Good hair. Looks like they actually got a little bit of a wash going on on there. Surprise. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. You can see the darker color in there. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, pretty done. cool. Mine are all in route. Dude, that wave and the villain's wave all shipped at the exact same time. So I'm going to have them all like next week. Yeah. Did Yeah, what happened with that like I thought the the villains wave would have been out like way before this wave. Uh, isn't that weird? Yeah. And then yeah, dude, I... what's there, there's another wave. I saw somebody found it in Florida yesterday. Yeah, people are already finding them. Um, but I mean, the, like the whole wave is pretty much shipping. It's weird. I got Captain America today, um, which was really cool. Um, I still think that figure should have had wings in it, and the build of figure should have been Agatha. But that's, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. But um, he's really cool. I'm really excited about him. But then all the other ships. So I'll have yeah, like everything's going to arrive at once next week. So hopefully they arrive uh, <laughs> while I'm in the office and Mrs. Dude is at work. <laughs> be a lot of packages all at once. Dude, um, do you mind? Um, I don't want to. If, if you're not cool answering this now, don't yeah. answer it. But. Because you travel a lot, it got me wondering what what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm in uh, uh, I'm in a, like a, a sales management leadership position uh, for a medical device company. So I I travel around and I work with sales reps uh, and I sit in on surgeries and we do you know presentations and meetings like that. So um, so it's it's a pretty cool job because I'm I get to see like this week I got to see um, just an amazing brain surgery um, uh, in one of the hospitals in Philly. And uh, wow. it, a lady had a, it was a occipital tumor. Um, so they had to pull down where the eyebrow is. And um, they, they use three things. They use, uh, they use like a microscope, uh, navigation, and then like a, a 4K 3D, uh, like augmented reality. So when the doctor is, is looking at the face and doing the tumor, they can overlay the augmented reality and see like all the brain structures. So you can see the tumor, the MCA, which is an artery that was like running right behind it. And then he uses like all the augmented reality to basically drill down and then uh, um, get down to the brain and then pull out the tumor. So it's an amazing wow. case. Yeah. Wow. And it was, it was a low grade meningioma. So the patient's going to, you know, recover well. And, um, but it, it was amazing to see this doctor work and just, you know, and he was so serious the whole case. And then as soon as it ended, he just started dropping F bombs, like really funny and casually and stuff. But like he was quite like, like you could hear a pin drop in the room. For, it was like three hours and it was just like barely whispering. And that, you know, some doctors are really talkative and some are like that. And it, you know, just, it's all personality. Driven, right. But I just, I couldn't believe he just started swearing as soon as the tumor came out. And so, but uh, it's uh, yeah. So sorry. It might've been long winded, but that's what I do. I get to travel around and, and see surgeries and, and work with our, our sales reps and stuff. Cool. Cool. Right. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very, uh, like very fortunate. So, uh, thanks for that. Um, all right. Uh, Josh, did you find anything? I've been opening stuff up all day. Um, so I don't have anything left to open currently, unfortunately, unless you guys want to want me to kill one of the Phantom Menace special carded battle droids. That's up to you. What, what's what's your favorite thing you open today? Show us that. Uh, yeah, let me grab that real quick. Cool. Oh, look at that display, <laughs> dude! That I wall know, is dude. awesome. 
Dude, his when he was on Three Men and a Monkey Lizard, yeah. that's what got my brain going that I needed to upgrade this because once yeah. he once I saw that and he showed me that, I was like, oh, it was like Inception. <laughs> At that point, like it was just implanted in the brain; it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> his his modest collection, his modest tour, <laughs> yeah, his modest <laughs> tour. That's what it was. He's like, this yeah. will be my modest tour, and then we're like, we're in the solarium and we're in the East Wing, and then it just kept going, going. It's awesome. <laughs> But that that yeah. wall of detox is what inspired me, um, dude. I love the haunted mansion shirt. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, so the coolest thing that I opened today was the brand new oh. NECA King Kong. This thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, I've been wanting to grab one of these for quite a while. Um, and I'm glad I held off because they had like what three or four different versions of it up to this point. Uh, but this one is, it's got just about everything you could possibly want in a Kong figure. Just looks unbelievable. Wow. That's cool. Little metal chains here. So you like you broke out of the shackles. Uh, it comes cool. with multiple heads. So two separate head sculpts, multiple hands, but one of the cool little underrated inclusions is this oh, little wow. <laughs> biplane. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's and that, cool. that little prop effect that it's got. So looks I really like good that. with photography. So I put this, I put this up on the, uh, on top of my Funko displays, I put Kong up there, and then I've got this hanging from the ceiling tile. So looks pretty cool all set up. But dude, that took that to another level with the yeah. prop effect. For like real, that like like dude, like, and if it had propellers on it, that would have been neat. But mm -hmm. the fact that they look in motion, man, that that is so cool. Did they come with like a little stand on in case you didn't? No, so there was no little stand, anything like that. So it's it, probably that or fishing line, I imagine, for the, the folks who are going to be <laughs> doing some figure photography with it. But I, I got that open, and I thought for thirty bucks, it's a big, bulky figure, uh, but two heads, two sets of two sets of extra hands, and the biplane. I mean, that's it's a no brainer. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. That's really cool, man, dude. Yeah. That what I really like is we all show different types of figures. Yeah, I mean, like that, that's really, really cool. Um, so I want to welcome uh, Monkey Jeebus. Thank you for joining us. And hey. Dagupa, thank hey, you Dagupa. as well, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, let me see. We got Steve O says Kong for the win. Yeah, it's tough to be. I, I like my electric, but that Kong was th that plane and stuff. Uh, <laughs> that's tough to beat, man, with those accessories. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Chris Red Ranger likes it too. Welcome, Francois. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je m'appelle uh, Le Dude. <laughs> le, le Duderino. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, it was just by me, I told a uh, story tonight. We, uh, I don't know how we got on the topic of French, but it just reminded me. Oh, we were talking about uh, French hip hop. And so in high school, in my sophomore year, um, we had to translate a work of art. Uh, into uh, like it, any type of uh, like movie or something like seen from a movie, a song, whatever is supposed to be artistic. And you had to just translate it into, into French. And I did uh, a Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre song. The oh, teacher which was one? Not, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Nothing but a G thing. Nothing but a G thing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. All right. People yeah, say to each other. You did that in French? <laughs> yeah, I did it in French, dude. The well, whole song in French. What are we doing with this stream for? Why aren't you dropping some French bars uh, on us right now? It's, uh, <laughs> I actually, it, it's uh, it, it it opened up as une, deux, trois et à la quatre, Snoop chien chien et à la messendre à la porte. Nice. Well done. Thank you. Isn't that impressive? Je parle petit I, français et très mal. Oui, oui. <laughs> Moi aussi. I, uh, yeah, dude, that's all high school French. It's amazing what stays up there. You know what I mean? Literally, that's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Troy's Reviews? 
Yes, French hip hop. Yeah, you never know. You never know what's going to happen uh, after eleven at night. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, can I show you guys uh, uh, the current state of the nerdery, and then we'll uh, I'll show you my plans. All right, so I'm going to grab. I'm going to turn. Well, you know, I'll keep this as like a control screen. I'm going to turn this one back on so you can see that portion of it, and then I'm going to take this mode and put this one here. Okay. And then hang on, let me turn on the lights. Everyone can see you best. All right, so, and then on here, I should be able to flip this camera, right? All right, did that work? Yeah, buddy. Yep. All right, cool. All right, so I'll give you, I'll give you guys just the rundown, and then we'll we'll talk about the vision. So, always on movie, uh, uh, Moonraker, Moon Raker. and then my favorite favorite movie of all time, Lebowski. <laughs> Big Lebowski. Oh, before I show you that, here's here's where I keep my storage. Um, sorry, there's not a ton of light over here. Um, but here's where I keep my my storage for accessories and all these little drawers. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So then these are all like MCU figures here. Um, well, here, my girls are too old for this now. There's a dollhouse. And then over here. Wait, wait, wait. Have... They're too old for it? Yeah. <laughs> I would be turning that thing into an X mansion in a heartbeat. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Oh, my that's God. Dude, that's... For, for my dude. daughter's dollhouse. Dude, oh my God, dude, that's actually a great idea. No, uh, <laughs> Kyle Peterson. I'm not sure if you follow him at all. Sir Paul sixty four, I believe. On oh my Twitter. God, dude, you just blew my mind. That is yeah. an awesome idea. He's he he had a video where he redid he did the same thing. He found this Fisher Price dollhouse that was like forty bucks or well, something at on well, look at marketplace and flipped it into an X mansion. And then look at this room. This is like you know thousands of dollars of American Girl stuff. Oh my lord. <laughs> And then uh, um, that's a remote control American Girl Val car, but um, but we keep it all in here because you know how it is. Like they're sixteen and almost thirteen, so they still love it. But there's you know they, if they're gonna come back to it, right? I mean, did so you they, have a did you have a hard time breaking them out of the cult of American Girl? They just aged out of it, thankfully. Um, so I I let them collect Barbies. Like we have we have like hundreds of Barbies. So every Barbie variant we got. Um, so I just, you know, I, I kind of collected through them, even though it was stuff that they wanted, but there's, we got a Barbie cruise ship and planes. And then over here is my Legos table. So we got Hogwarts and this is a lot of the girls and stuff. And, and then I've just got like action figure overflow that I need to do something about all the way through here. And then, and then here is action figure overflow. Oh my and Lord. Then, and then all in here, uh, sorry, this is the low light part of the room, guys. But all all in here are like all the black and red black series boxes. So all the like quite a few. So um, what what is it that makes you determine whether or not you're going to open something and whether or not you're going to like get one to rock and one to stock? Um, so here, here's a great. OK, so great example. So these carded. Right. Anything yeah. that's like carded like this, uh, I, I want to because I want one on the wall and then uh, I want to and this one, you know, I want to open. So thankfully I got two, um, you know, and then you have these are all carded. Right. So mm -hmm. these are all for the wall. So all these Spideys, I got some I got doubles of some. I just got one, but I wanted uh -huh. one of every single card in this line because they're all going to go like this. So I'm going to have the mm -hmm. whole line as they go across nice. um and then you got um you know like some you just open i really wanted to open carnor jack so i opened him you know mm -hmm. but these are so displayable you can yeah. obviously open the figure and no one knows right so it's so cool but what about you guys how do you decide well uh, lately i yeah i just open them um i, I mean for for many years i i was my one to open one one to you know put up and that just after years that just got to be too much you know so now <laughs> i just get one if i I'll open it or i i, I don't, yeah 
There's some I buy to open, and then I get them, and I can't open them. <laughs> right. I I think you can see from mine, I open almost everything. I think the only Black Series that I don't have opened right now are the are a Qui-Gon and a Mace Windu from the Phantom Menace carded. And then uh, Mark, Blue Harvest Vintage Toys, sent me the Kenner-colored Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. And I am having a real hard time taking that off the the card back. Yep. Uh, the o- the only reason I did here, I got them right here. I got them front and center. The only reason I did is because I got two. Yeah. I I still absolutely I I just don't like that figure save for the head sculpt. The head sculpt's amazing, but like I yep. I just mm. <laughs> not for me. And, and ironically all. enough, I love the Greedo. The Greedo is amazing. Yeah. yeah, the Greedo is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep, I like I like it because it's like a combination of the two of of the classic Kenner and yeah. then the the modern Blacksers. So I, I really liked it. Hey, that's that's kind of why I love collecting because there's so much you know diversity in what you can collect and what exactly. appeals to different people and. Like just because I don't like something, I I'm super happy for the people that that oh, are dude. into that. And and I like watching like other people enjoy it because then I you know you still get to see this stuff. But like so for example that Age of Apocalypse two wave that came out this week, mm-hmm. it, it's just not for me you know, at all. And and but I ordered the Iceman because I wanted Iceman to go with Firestar and Spidey. So but um, uh, but yeah, it just wasn't for me at all. But it's cool. I'm glad other people were excited. Could you remove those spiky ice effects on him? Did they show that at all? I don't Is know it... if you, I don't know if you can or not. I'm sure, I'm sure someone could like customize it and shave yeah. it down. I'm, I'm not that good at that. Um, all right, let me show you guys this setup, and then, so up top here of the Detoff, I have the Heroes Vendor mm-hmm. from Comic Con. So that that's going to definitely come into play on top of the shelves. And then this top row right now is uh, mainly Empire Strikes Back with, you know, a couple other, basically Obi-Wan just snuck in. But I wanted this whole shelf just to be Empire Strikes Back. And you got Luke fighting Vader. Uh, I got the bounty hunter scene minus Dengar. And then Piet looking up at them in disgust. (laughs) I love that you maximize like every square inch of those Detolfs. I try to like that. I, 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 you know, I like to talk about like the planning being a lot of fun, but I do like, I think like the planning and that challenge is a lot of fun. It's, yeah. it's cramming as much as you can. <laughs> and this is my uh, Mando Empire Strikes Back uh, display. So a couple of pieces are out already because I was using them to take pictures and I just left them out. So, and then I got Empire Strikes Back in front. And there's Bo-Katan. Oh, with the dark saber, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, it had to be. So, and that's what I got to decide now when I redo the display: does she go in my Clone Wars display or my Mando display? I'm not sure. You can pick but up look, another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it gets just ridiculous. But it, by the way, I love the two flame effects in the display. Absolutely. It's pretty cool. And then here is my solo display. Uh, oh. A really underrated wave, really really underrated wave. Oh no, my that Han Solo Mimbin is my favorite one of the wave too. It fell there. Um, Dryden Voss is outstanding too. And then over here I have my Rogue One. So I thought like these were the Star Wars standalone movies, so they would they would go well together. And then down here are the the castaways from <laughs> the sequel trilogy. Um, <laughs> That uh, um, obviously I'm, I don't collect a lot of that line, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But that Kylo Ren is really cool, and then that uh, that First Order trooper is pretty sweet, though. Is that the Snow Trooper one? Yeah, or the Snow that... Trooper. Yeah, I got really in all the all those figures. I actually only got um, because they were in eBay lots, so they were just mm-hmm. part of a lot. So that's why I had them. Um, although we did have two rays. Uh, that were my daughters because they they collected um we've got probably like i think it was something like 80 or uh, 60 or 70 female black series and legends figures that they collected over the years that i bought for them 
Um, so we do have uh, like a like Ray, and we have two Rays and a Rose and stuff that are theirs. Um, all right, so down here are like drawers that have like unopened uh, figures in them. So I keep uh, unopened Legends down here, <laughs> and then I keep some more unopened Legends here, like this one. Oh. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> I bought this 100% to open it, and I just have not been able to bring myself to do it. I just, I'm having a hard time. Um, like, look at this. I've had this. Still haven't been able to open it. I've got some good, good unopened figures <laughs> down here. Um, and sorry, guys, it keeps flipping. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, look at that. Deathlock. So Good what do stuff. you do with them if you don't open them? You just leave them sitting there. Yeah, and I, I just kind of come and look at them and pet them now and then. Be like, my precious. <laughs> <laughs> and then down here I have my Lego table. And again, this is normally I'm, I'm really like clean and tight, but since I've been moving stuff around and taking pictures and I knew the project was coming, I just left things up. But um, we got a Slave One, X-Wing. Um, this is actually the Black Series, a Cloud Rider Mobile. Which is going to look? I'm gonna. I want to put that on top of uh, Detoff because it's too big to to be in a shelf. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Falcon Lego. We got Obi Wan's ship. That's such a cool one. I, I yeah. Nice. Razor Crest. And then a Tie Interceptor. And then we got the U, uh, the U wing from Rogue One. And then, because uh, I'm a sucker for the cards, I do have some credit collection cards here as well. And then we get to this awesome wall, which was really one of my favorite parts of Slaves. You have my Empire Strikes Back poster. And then we have all the carded figures from the 40th, just surrounding the poster. Nice. That's a beautiful collection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really enjoyed this. Aesthetic. And then that's me being an idiot, <laughs> breaking my ceiling. <laughs> Um, but I, I really love the way that the poster looked. Yep. Um, and I'll let me back out to show you guys. But you know, this this aesthetic to me, I thought was pretty neat with the Legos. You got the lights underneath, and then it kind of emanates on the ceiling. And I just love the way the cards look with the poster. Although I wish there was one more card, <laughs> so it would have been even. But that's okay. I was going to um, ask if you're you're missing if are you missing one there or is it just no? That there were figures. Yeah, there were only nineteen figures. That bothers so, me. I know it bothers me too. Um, so up top here right now, I have seven that are going above the poster. So what I um, am planning on doing is, is me, or I'm sorry, there's um, seven. I'm planning on making it nine that go across. So I want to add one on each side there so that I just have the carded figures going across, but they'll be my uh, nine favorite when I decide But you can you can bet that Boba, uh, Darth Vader, and uh, my Lukes will be on that top row for sure. And over here we got another Luke with a snow speeder. And then this is probably the display I I I think I've done the best work on, and I just call this my prequel trilogy display. So mm -hmm. and this is just whether it's Clone Wars or the movies, you know anything uh, that was in the prequel trilogy is in this display. I mean, look at all this Jedi together. And my favorite part is I have this, um, I have uh, Django flying outside of the display, uh, battling Obi-Wan, like they're on Geonosis. Yeah, that's a good shelf. Yeah, a lot of clones. I mean, a lot of Jedi. And look at all those lightsabers. Grievous is in the back. It's pretty cool. I like that. And then Looks here's like my... Uh, a, like a, a tribute movie poster almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with it. A lot of fun. And that that Grievous is so cool. Even in the back, he stands out. Is he leaning against the back? No, I have him uh, standing up. Oh, mine tips. Yeah, he, he actually did, did pretty well. Um, oh, and then one of my other favorite parts is just Ahsoka uh, with the Ahsoka clone trooper. And then the two Mandos in the background. I, I like that corner, how I had that there. And then uh, down here is the Rebels. So, and then I threw Dr. A Afrin because she's in, you know, in that time frame. But, uh, you know, and then I have uh, Vader versus Soka from the World Between Worlds as the highlight of the display. I, so e each display, I, 
I try to have one highlight, you know, like that's my highlight there, you know, that just is telling a story versus, you know, the rest of these that are all like posed, except for Zeb, because Zeb is like, he's, he's about to, you know, how he always like uh, clonks a stormtrooper on their heads and knocks them out. So he's about to do that. But I, I love rebels and these figures are great. And then I threw Maul in there too. Yeah. I wish we had a robo legs mall to put with those. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. that's that's on my top ten wish list is a robo legs yep. mall. Yep. All right, and then here, sorry, let me get on the other side of it. Uh, is the I actually just did a video on this one. I think a bunch of you guys saw it. Um, it's a gaming greats display. So, and then uh, right in the middle is Cal versus second sister. And then I just threw in uh, Kirk Hanos and uh, Jackson because I thought, you know, they fit in with it. And then, oh, yeah, full disclosure, that is a, a Galaxy's a Edge Mountain Trooper. But I think thematically it fit with um, the Gaming Greats figures. Definitely. And then this is an empty shelf, and I just have those two figures standing on it. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's, that's the full tour, man. That is – this is – the end of, of how this looks and uh, the end of the era and uh, tomorrow we're going to, we're going to take it up a notch. So you've got a lot of room, just like I've got a lot of room, but you've got kids. So like you haven't mm -hmm. been able to maximize it. I have the luxury that I don't have children. So hence the reason my modest yep. doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, what? I'm, the girls had, have had such a good um, life playing down here and having fun. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, you know, I'm glad that that stuff's still out there and it doesn't bother me at all, you know, at all. So, um, it's I actually had to take it more, back, brother, you victim, take it, your well, basement I, back, I, sir. I did. Cause if, if you look over here, Oh, I got it the wrong way. If you look over here, um, this, like where that detoff was, was like the end of my space and then everything else was their space. So like, I, I've totally taken an area back. All right, so all right, I'm gonna switch. Yeah, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm really jealous of, that you guys have basements. <laughs> I have hey, it those took me a long things. time to get a basement that I could actually set things up in. That for years my collection sat in in Rubbermaid bins and in various other basements that weren't finished. So that was one of the most important things when we were house shopping. Like I needed to have the finished basement because it was I spent so many years without my collection around me, and that's why I like now that I've got an opportunity to go in and actually do something with it. Like I really take the time to try to to get it right and and show it off. So, dude, and yeah, you, I mean, dad, I I keep saying you got to do a, a channel, and just even if you only do a video, or you'd have to break it up in in segments, but. Just do a channel and and show us what you did on there because people would be inspired by it. They can learn from it. You know, I, I think that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah that got, wall is. I've got some it's stuff just, in work. It's awesome, dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. I mean, you already got your name, the Cap Cave. Oh, I'm I'm marketing that like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I still have like two or three other projects that I got that I, I'm working on, like that I've got in the back of my mind. But like I finally I've got like two more things I need to do to the wall, and then it's just as I buy stuff I can start adding it, so I won't have any more major moves. This thing's almost done. So when that happens, then I'm gonna start. I've got uh, I just ordered a Captain America shield. Uh, mm -hmm. from Cap and the Winter Soldier, and I sent it to a buddy on uh, Twitter who has a YouTube channel who does 3D printing. He's actually going to be finishing it for me. So he's going to do a whole video where he's going to refinish it, make it look more movie ac or screen That's accurate, cool. and I'm going to put it under a table that I refinished and put lights on it. So it'll be a coffee table with Cap shield right in the middle. It's going to look Oh, my God. Cool. Once, once Dude. I get that done, then I'm going to do the video and yes, yeah. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, awesome. man. Yeah, um, um, are you guys okay? If I say hi to a couple people real quick. Yeah, yeah man. It's your channel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, I've never done one before. So, you know, I, uh, I appreciate it. Um, all right. We got Aaron Drury. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Yeah. That's really cool. Of you to hang out. 
people saying hi. It says, buy an extra snow trooper and you'll have an even 20. Yeah, it's a good point. Put up a wall simulating a store rack that has everything. <laughs> Pretty funny. Right, people saying hi. Nice. Erin says her prequel shelf is becoming her favorite. Yeah, dude, I, I love the prequel shelf. Oh, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, my, mine is still the original trilogy, but I, I really do love the prequel. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. In organizing mine, so I've got six Star Wars details, so I broke them up by the, the eras, so prequel, mm -hmm. OT, and then sequel, anything after, so like all my Mando. Yeah. Uh, I've got a couple... Rise of Skywalker shelves and stuff like that. Uh, OT is always going to have a special place in my heart, but posing the figures and, and getting everything set up, I, I think I'm, I'm close to agreeing with you that like not so much maybe the prequel movie stuff, but like all the Clone Wars stuff, mm -hmm. all the clones and like those characters, I had I think I had more fun getting those situated the way that I wanted as opposed totally to OT. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. So Let's see Josh, uh, welcome Josh. Uh prequel figs are gorgeous. Dave's yeah, he loves his prequel figures. I you know, I do too, man. And it, but the prequel figures are also benefiting from you said uh, what you said like the Clone Wars stuff. Cuz they get they get lumped in together and and I do think the Clone Wars has probably been their best ex execution. Uh sorry Monkey Jeebus. See, you'll you'll enjoy them all once you get them. What I did yeah, Black mine... Series has gotten better. When I did mine, so I just redid the shelf within the last week because mm -hmm. I went on that that mega toy hunt and I got my first Detolf uh, for my helmets and to display my Ewok village. But I've got my Lego up top. I've got my and everything before Episode Four shelf, and then I've got the stuff that I got at Galaxy's Edge and my Funko Pops. Then I've got my original trilogy one with the vintage and the black series, and then down there I've got. Uh, everything else so rogue one solo uh mando sequel trilogy and then down below i've got my art books my blu-rays my vhs um some of my comics and then my qui-gon hot toy awesome what did you get when you went to galaxy's edge i got i built the purple droid okay um i got the sabak card set i got a holocron with all the different um uh crystal colors i built that lightsaber right up front um, oh, uh, I got the tiki mug, um, the Ewok tiki mug. That was the yub nub drink. Yeah. And then, uh, I've got my Han Solo dice hanging in my car. <laughs> um, that's so cool. Did we you were, get the, was, the gift card? They were out. They were out when okay. I went. So, oh, that's a bummer. I went March 7th and they closed, I think, or I went on the 8th or 9th and then they closed like a week later. So I wow. barely squeaked in to to go to Galaxy's Edge. So yeah, I got, you want to say hi to I Shabby? Three of them. What's up, Shabby? <laughs> hey, Shabby. Oh, the gift card. You got three of them? Yeah, I got three of them. I I said, you know what? I'm just gonna take. Uh, we made uh, Galaxy Edge one of our first days when we went down to Disney, and you can use them anywhere at any of the parks. So I just bought three hundred dollars worth of stuff because I was gonna be. Mm -hmm using $300 over the course of the trip and, and went pretty quick in galaxy's edge. If I'm being oh, honest, yeah, you could, yeah. you could do that in probably 10 minutes in galaxy's yeah. edge. You know, we, we were supposed to go in uh, April to Disneyland and then we were going to go in June to Disney world. So I, we had galaxy's edge reservations in both places and we were going to do, we were going to build droids at Disney world and then lightsabers at Disneyland. Um, so, uh, but we're, I think we're, I, we still have those tickets and I think we have to use them by this year. So we're going to go and I'm going to build my lightsaber this year and I might cry. I'm going to be so oh, happy. It's so cool. Yeah. I, I, I cannot almost wait. shed a tear. It, it was Seriously. really awesome. Yeah, um, absolutely. My oldest son did it with me. Um, and yeah, we, we both teared up. It, it, it was pretty awesome. I, I Yeah, man. I, I, I and I think too, just after waiting over a year, you know what I mean? Just, and, and again, that's a first world problem that I had to wait <laughs> Poor poor old man had to wait to build his lightsaber. But like, <laughs> it, it's something I was looking forward to doing with my daughters, you know what I mean? And, and just like guys, our age grew up, we were babies when star Wars came out. Right. And so like, we've wanted to build a lightsaber our whole lives and have that, you know what I mean? So 
um, I, I think when it finally happens, it, it's going to be probably tremendously emotional. You know what I mean? It's, it's so yeah, I'm, I'm super, super, super excited. I hear people right. complaining about the price tag, but man, like it was what 180 bucks. It, it's a hefty lightsaber. It's a good quality product. It's yeah, it's definitely worth it. Plus the experience and everything that goes hand in exactly. hand with it. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, if you were to buy like the one of the legacy lightsabers at the store there, you, you're paying 175 or something yeah. anyways. So to, to be able to put it together and the experience, it it's worth 200 bucks easy. Yeah. So if you guys could buy any legacy lightsaber, what would you buy? Return of the Jedi Luke. Yeah, Jedi Luke, I, probably. I almost pulled the trigger when I was there, but uh, shipping it was going to be the issue because I, I flew from Minnesota out there by myself. And it was, I already spent way too much money, so I didn't. Yeah, my, I would take that would dark Obi Wan or Luke, the dark saber. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was cool too. Josh well, likes Mace Shatter Star. I, I really like Mace Windu's also. So his is unique too. You know which one I like too was even though I'm not, I, I don't buy sequel trilogy stuff. Was Leia's? I thought Leia's that Leia was saber really is cool. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mace Windu. Yeah, that that's a cool one, man. And it, honestly, like I I could see myself. It's like anything. If once I get one, I'm gonna want them all. You know, and then they're, they're gonna see lightsabers like, all the way down the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I got to hold them all, I think the ones that felt best were the Return of the Jedi Luke and mm. the Phantom Menace Obi Wan. That was the other mm. one that I was looking at. You could almost just buy an extra one, flip it on one of the marketplaces somewhere and help pay for, for part of your trip. And people will gladly pay it just because they can't right. get access can't to them any it, other yeah. way. So yeah, right. like, I don't, I don't look at that as like necessarily scalping anything like that. You're, if you're making a trip down there, like, and you can help put it in the hands of somebody who really wants it, who may not ever be able to make the trip down there. Like that's just people helping people right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right. man. So uh, Chevy was asking, so for anyone who's who's joining us now, um, so this is the Nerdery 1.0 display um, with the two DTOFs, the Empire Strikes Back retro cards, Legos behind me, poster, what have you. Um, I had four new DTOFs arrive today, um, so I'm going to be assembling them this weekend. And so this is really just the last night that the display is going to look this way. And uh, we're just honoring the toy gods tonight and being thankful for it and uh, and excited to uh, build a new one tomorrow. But it, it's, uh, you know, when you have something like this that you like and then you're going to totally change it, I just wanted to take tonight to honor it and remember and, and you know, have guys come on and, and give a tour of how it looks right now. So thanks for hanging out, Shabby. He's going to light it on fire in a uh, Viking <laughs> funeral here a Viking in a couple funeral? minutes. So. <laughs> really, this is all just really an elaborate insurance scam, so dude can really cake up that basement. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Viking funeral for it. <laughs> I love it. Aaron would love a Leia saber. Yep. Uh, oh, G Four says a Yoda saber. That would be cool too. See, that's why I, mm. I think it's a slippery slope, man. I think once you get one, um, that's why that's why I refuse to buy a helmet because I feel if I get one helmet, I'm gonna try to buy them all yeah i i just have the one i i, I got the mandalorian <laughs> um and i i said that's it i'm not i'm not gonna let myself go down that road and end up with a bunch of them so i'm gonna um do a share screen now and show you kind of what i'm thinking um give me a second Hashtag right, team spreadsheet. Team spreadsheet. Can you guys see oh that? Oh my okay? goodness, I love it. <laughs> All right, yes, I see sir. that come out. All right, I'm just flipping back the screen. Awesome. All right. So what I did here is I made four options for what's going to be right behind me, right? So so the basically I can fit four DTOFs like in between these two. I just have to move them like an inch inch or two that way. So what I'm looking at is um, I'll have the oh, that should actually be nine. Thanks. All right. So I got the nine retro cards that'll be up on that top layer uh, behind me. And then, so what I was thinking is I could have Marvel Legends figures on the left cabinet, all Star Wars in the middle, and then Marvel Legends comic figures in the right cabinet. It's kind of like a bookend of Marvel. 
And if I do that, then on this right side here, I could have um, all my Marvel cards, like instead of the Casino Royale poster. And then on this side, I would put all the Star Wars cards, even though it's, it's MCU Legends. Um, but I just thought that the comic cards would fit better with the comic legends. And then these look like movie figures. So they'd go with the star Wars. So that's, that's option one. Option two is the other one I'm real considering because I have more legends figures than I do star Wars figures overall. So I was thinking maybe do two, uh, <clears throat> detox worth of comic legends and then one detox of MCU and then star Wars, star Wars, star Wars. And so just having like a half and half. And then on this wall, then if I did it this way, I would do all of the, um, uh, carded figure, you know, so the Clone Wars figures, the Phantom Menace uh, cards, like all, all the carded stuff would go there. And then on this side, I would put all the carded uh, Spidey figures. So those are the two I like the best. But then I also have this where I just do two Marvel on the left and then four Star Wars on the right. And then this one, which was just alternating every other. Mm. And then a team spreadsheet. <laughs> So, um, so I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn, like, cause I go back between all of them. Like these two seem to be the most logical to do. Um, but sometimes I think that would be cool to have every other one as well. So the only thing I would say that you might want to think again about the every other one is if you're going to put your heroes of Endor up top. That yeah, that's true. That would open yeah. it up a little bit and it's going to infringe on some Marvel stuff. That's a good call. So yeah, think, that's oh, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, I would say that oh. that's the tentative game plan. So yeah. Any other? What? <laughs> which one would you guys do? What? What do you guys think? I, I would do the three and three. It, if you have that many legends, if you only have two, what happens to the rest of your open ones then? Good. So good point. So um, I actually have in my office, um, that's where all my Marvel figures are now. So I have one shelf that, that has quite a bit of height to it. And that's where I have I have a 90s X-Men poster and then all my 90s X-Men. And then the whole other shelf is just uh, just any X-Men figure. And then the shelf above that is like Spidey and his friends and then just other Marvel Legends figures like layered into it. Oh. So I could... I could bring those down and do and do the three and three. So that that's why I'm thinking like if I just did the two and two, I would leave um, one of those shelves intact and then which would probably be the 90s X-Men one. But if I did three and three, I would bring the 90s X-Men shelf down. So good question. Good question. So I would so go with that set up and I would do for your comic Marvel Legends. I would do your, similar to how I did with the X-Men Battle in the Brotherhood, like across mm -hmm. two separate Detolfs. And then you could do your Spider-Man versus like all the Spider family, you know, the bad the bad guys for, for Spider-Man. Do those battling across on the, the next shelf or however you want to prioritize yeah. them. That's a great idea. Yeah. So, but I'm so much more inclined to try to cram... 37 figures just in one in one <laughs> shelf and just <laughs> try to show back because your yours is is I, more minimalistic in in terms of like i think you've got like 10 figures in each mm -hmm. cabinet right it, it's so but i like that too i think because then those figures stand out more where um you know like i'm i'm trying to maximize space right well with the way that you tier things using all the space though i think you'd be okay with that um just because it wouldn't it doesn't look as as crammed uh and if you have all those comic legends that would be a pretty amazing site with all of the different you know the 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 x-men the 90s x-men the spider-man stuff mm -hmm. um and then star wars were you thinking like uh like a prequel and animation an original trilogy and then like a sequel trilogy and everything else on another one. Yeah. That. So that's why I'm starting to conceptualize. Do I do, I wouldn't have a sequel trilogy. Um, if anything, like a sequel trilogy would just be um, like in, in a corner here, like for those figures. So, but, yeah. but yeah, like, like looking, thinking through like, 
you know, this could be Empire. Um, so you basically have six that would be those movies, right? From um, Empire, you know, you, the sequel trilogy and then the prequel trilogy. So you would have six there. And then down here, I could have like Gaming Great, Solo, and Rogue One, you know, just do some stuff like that. Um, and then, but then the problem is, so I start looking at like that. I really like Clone Wars as much as some of the other prequel figures. So then, then the challenge is, well, how do I want it? I want my own empire display. I definitely want my own return of the Jedi and a new hope. And then I definitely, you know, I like the, the prequel trilogy display. So then maybe I separate one out into prequel trilogy and then one out in the clone wars and then just kind of start layering them from there. I prioritized mine. So I did basically across the entire displays for the most part, the top two shelves are like my favorite characters or favorite versions of those particular characters mm -hmm. uh, regardless of where they fall within the timelines and then the bottom two shelves in each cabinet then i start doing stuff as far as like chronological or like groupings like that yeah well it, and so the other thing is um i don't know if you guys saw um uh market super awesome geek show or uh, super awesome geek show john um he bought that iron legion um set where you can you can put i think like six iron men figures in there and it looks mm -hmm. like a hall of armor yeah so yep. i i grabbed one of those two because they were on sale and i was thinking like i just want one detox shelf to be like the hall of armor in the back and then it could be all my iron man figures yeah. so so then my mind started spinning because most of my stuff is like based off of the movie right in that situation but then i'm like man what i, I could have like a whole wolverine shelf because i got tons of Wolverine. you know what i mean so yeah. it's uh um, there's so many ways you could do it, but the fun thing is whatever you do, you can redo it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that it's, you can constantly, uh, uh go back and forth with it. Uh, David might already left. Thanks for coming out, David. Um, so Gary's asked me, do I have cases for Spider-Man? I don't have cases for those. I probably should get them, but th those cards are also pretty sturdy though. They're, um, those they are. cards are excellent. Yeah. Super sturdy. Uh, Aaron is saying sweet dreams. Acrylic fish tanks are good for dioramas. Mm. People sell them cheap. That's very true. I had a, I had a 90 gallon acrylic fish, fish tank in our last house before we moved and I sold that cheap. What do you guys think about the, the backdrop? That's a good idea. People What's up left coast graphics? You know, I, I like them. Um, I like them. I don't know if I want them though, but I like them. If that makes sense. What about you guys? I don't know if What's you can see coast? it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see, but I've got like the inside of a, um, one of the droid ships behind on my prequel side. And I've got most of my villains over there. Nice. Uh, and that's just lightly taped to the back of that shelf. But I, uh, that's the only like backdrop that I've gotten. Um, I think it's a cool idea, or it can be a cool idea. Yeah. I don't have any, but I've been looking at them. Yeah, I think if I was just starting out, I might look at it. But once I got everything set up the way that I have it now, it just looks kind of uniform. So I don't, like, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd be nervous to, to put them back there and if, if it would throw the vibe of, of the room off. Really pulls, kinda... the room, really pulls the room <laughs> together. <laughs> Damn, I was about to. I was about to say, I kind of think it really pulls the room together. Mm. Sorry. It's yeah, your show. I, I should have given it to you. No, you dude, dude. I, I, I love, I love that you got there first. I'm actually wearing my dude shirt tonight. One of, one of my collectibles was uh, t-shirts. So I do have my, it, it says uh, El Duderino on the bottom. It's one of my, one of my favorite shirts. Um, we actually got a uh, cool, I, I love your Haunted Mansion shirt. That one's really cool. I have one too. Um, Left Coast Graphics says, where did my vintage kind of, I, I don't have any, um, I had them as a kid and, and they were all gone. So I don't have any, do you, you guys, do you guys have any of those two? Those. The Kenners, the old Kenners. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are. Yeah. I, I have like 65 of them left roughly. Um, I still have the Falcon, the uh, slave one at, at that kind of stuff. That's awesome. They're put up in boxes. I don't have any room for them. I've got uh, the the first 12, a complete first 12 
down here. Uh, I think I've got without duplicates, I've got like 31 or 32 of them. And then with duplicates, I've got over 40. So I've got a whole bunch of different wow. Ewoks up here. Um, nice. And then there. I'll show you this real quick. Um, here, let me max your screen. Hang on, hang on. I don't know if you guys. Is it the Force Ghost Obi Wan? Some of you guys might remember these from way back, and uh, the, the tape broke on it from being stuck in a, a box for forever. But ah, uh, yes. Was, uh, oh, so, that's kind of cool that I still that had the little really cool white that shipper box really with cool. my address on it. You know, <laughs> kind of neat. That's so cool. Yeah, the toy box hollow armor was only thirty five. I mean, I think that's going to look really cool in the D top. I I was hoping two would fit, but it's just it's like three inches too tall to stack one on top of the other. Could you do a hollow of armor on top of a D top like you did with the Heroes of Endor? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. I wonder if I could do. Ooh, no, that's I don't have enough clearance. Okay. I don't think I could fit two, but I can definitely fit one like in the detox. So I'm going to have like one in the, like on a shelf and you'll have the five suits in the back and then the one in the middle. And then you can place a couple on top and then I'll have some other stuff around it. And then maybe if I get Iron Man villains, I can, I can have a couple fighting the Iron Man villains. Yeah. That hall of armor looks awesome. I just don't have that big of an affinity for Tony Stark and have enough figures to, to pull it off. But if I, if I had a handful of them, that would probably be the route that I would go for trying to display them. Yeah. It looked awesome when I saw it. <laughs> well, the planning is part of the fun, though. You know what I mean? So enjoy it. All right. Just getting some other count. Rock on, Brandon. He's working on collecting his last 12. Nice, Steve O. Boxes yeah. older than Brandon. <laughs> That's funny. Emperor in the shiver box. Nice, AJ. Very cool. So, yeah, man, that, I, you know, going back to here, I'm going to share that again. Now, now that I'm thinking through it, what I could do is I have the MCU Legends, like, here. So, because I, I like how that sits next to the Star Wars, you know, because they're both movie figures. And then what I could do is I could take my 90s X-Men poster and then just put it like right on the back of here and have those top four just be all 90s X-Men figures. That would look really cool. Or at least, or maybe just have these two top tiers be 90s X-Men figures and then uh, go from there. It, it's, there's just so many ways you can do it, man. I so think I'm going to go three and three. Based on everything that you still have, like, are you opening up any of the, the stuff that you've got laying around to, to fill yeah. the shelves with? Yeah, actually, so what I'm going to do is um, I have a bunch of 90s X-Men figures that I have not been able to bring myself to open. So part of setting this up was I was going to open those up finally. Um, so I got here. You guys want to see them? I'll show you a couple yeah. cool ones that I've been saving. Give me one second while I walk over. Shatter you know, it's just... Star, we riot. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone do a Shatter Star, but I'll, I'll grab ones that I don't... Uh, I, I purposely have never put these on the board for the live unboxing because I just I knew there was no way I would ever do them. Um, so I'll show you a couple of those. And where's the other one? Sorry, I got to move a few around over here. Yeah, there they are. Okay. So all these I'm about to bring over, I think if I if I bring that nineties X-Men poster down here and do it the way I'm thinking, um, I, maybe what I'll do is, yeah, I, I can do like a big, um, get all these unboxed and then add them to the display. Um, oh, the other ones I have upstairs that I haven't unboxed yet are, um, I'll show you right now. Let me grab her. I would have to unbox her and, uh, oh, this one too. Oh, I don't know if I could do this one. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so this would be, um, you know, make him big oh. screen. All oh. right. So, Toy Biz Sabretooth. And this is one of those Toy Biz that holds up. 
hundred percent holds up. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I was gonna say so, it doesn't it doesn't look that much different than the one that's in that uh no. And look at that, that face. Wave. Do you look at that face? Yeah. So, I love the Toy I, Biz Legends. Yeah, dude. I, I bought him to open and have not been able to do it at all. So but I do think I would have to I would, I would, if I do that, it might be time. Um, all right, so here are the other ones. So Rogue, I just haven't opened her yet. I have two of them, so I don't mind. I'm going to open her. That's a good um, one. Yeah, dude, special figure. So, but I have, I have that in card. And then, all right, so here's some of the ones I just, I've been saving. Got Bishop. Nice. Oh, this isn't '90s X Men, but well, it is '90s X Men. Sorry, uh, Weapon X. All right, this this one is exceptional. Uh, Omega Red. Oh, <laughs> dude, isn't Very he awesome? Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, now you guys see why I have a hard time opening some of these, and you know, I I do love uh, Jubilee. She's great. So, I just need that blue beast, man. I hope they re-release it at some point or put it on a card or something because I need it. And uh, then I'll have like all the main main characters. But then look at this guy, Mister Sinister. Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, dude, he's beautiful. <laughs> like he's just so awesome. So I don't know, dude. I, I but I, I think if I do it, I I might as well go out and do it. You know what I mean? Yep. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna build it, but it's uh. I, there, there is something about having these figures in box, though. Like, I, I really do enjoy. I, I still enjoy having them in box. I mean, like, I, I go and I look at them and I check them out. So, I used to be that way. I just, I can't do it anymore. I, I gotta, I gotta have it in my hands. I gotta like take pictures of it. I gotta just mess around and do what it was intended to do originally. Breathe some life into it as opposed to just sitting there holding it in my hands in a plastic prison for all those years. Yep. Yeah. I know. Like when you were showing me the, the retro card back Spidey, mm -hmm. I, I got that figure and I was playing with it and I was like, how does he not have that out of the box? <laughs> <laughs> like that is the most articulated, cool Spider-Man figure I've played with, you know, since I was a kid and I was just, I was like, "How does he have that in a box?" But I get it. I, I have, I do, I, I have the red, I have the red suited one up in my Spidey display upstairs. So he's, uh, I have him resting on top of Kingpin, like he's like punching him, like he's sitting. So Kingpin's so big, I've got him literally just kind of like on his knees, like around his head, and he's got his fist up, like he's punching Kingpin. Aaron says, "Beautiful saber too." Thank you. Yeah, he <laughs> the figure's awesome. I actually found that figure on a work trip in Columbus um, at Big Fun, which is a toy store that every time I go to Columbus, I hit up. That uh, that's where I got all the. I got three out of the um, four figures I needed in the uh, Mojo uh, Build a Week, Build a Figure Wave for this. So, so tell me that shouldn't highlight a whole shelf though, that yeah. Mojo. Yeah, that mm. one's crazy. I think this is the best build a figure I've ever seen. I have zero connection to the character, but I will gladly doff my hat to it. <laughs> <laughs> you, the only reason I like him is from the Mojo Vision um, uh, episodes from '90s X Men, because they're just they're such good episodes. Um, so that's that's why I got. Where is he? I just saw him over here. I mean, long shot. Look at that yeah. mullet, by the way. <laughs> I think it's epic. All right, let's see what else. Aaron needs that rogue. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, drive. You need AJ needs that rogue. Uh, no, actually, I have it. But yeah, and a beat. Dude, I I a hundred percent need. Um, I need that blue beast. That, I need that jubilee. One I'm missing. You know, if I got my Jubilee off Big Bad Toy Store, like every now and then they get figures like that. Yeah, at Jubilee, I I just have missed it so many times, and um, in fact, I, I was bidding on one the other day. Um, I was winning the auction, and I got a call for work, like an oh, after no. hours call, 
Yeah. And I hung up the phone like the minute the auction was ending and I got outbid by a dollar and lost it. I mean, oh, man. That has happened 15 times now. I, I've, I've lost it in the last 30 seconds. You guys will be thrilled to hear that I got both of those figures on clearance at the same time for $14 at Target. No way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Both the Blue Beast and Jubilee. Wow. Oh, I need that Blue Beast. The Blue Beast is so expensive now, though. It just, it, I'm not doing it. You know, they, they have to re release it at some point. What's the old uh, Hasbro sure. Legends or the, the Toy Biz Legends one go for? Because that, that's a pretty Not as figure. much. Here, I could, let me pull it up. I have had a really hard time finding some of those because I just started collecting in really in january um so pretty much everything you see has been since january i had six black series before january and now i have over a hundred um i didn't have i didn't <laughs> have a, past january good god man holy crap um, man. That, that escalated quickly i had <laughs> like five funko pops and now i've got over 40 I didn't have any vintage figures, and now I've got over forty. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing: I love the fact that you sat there and you said that you have, like, you've got the original twelve, right? Yeah. So that's one thing where I, I've got. They put out the Black Series, the Vader with the special early bird kit to go along with it, and I wanted to display my black series in that, but there, I didn't really have a decent way to put that grouping together. And I don't think I have quite all of them if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's got me in the mood where I'm thinking about going back and maybe collecting the vintage ones. But now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I may try doing something different and 3d print all of the original 12 or, or at least like some representation of the original 12. Mm -hmm. And then collect them that way, just to yeah. have something that will actually go in my collection at this point. That's mm. a cool idea, man. And mm. I've gotten really lucky with it with the first 12. Um, Jet's Toy Hut is a place that I looked up and I got three or four of the first 12 off of that for, for a pretty good price. But then um, just going on and getting last second eBay bid or eBay auctions where they they may not be in the best condition, but I don't expect that from forty year old figures. Yeah. So the first twelve I have complete. The other ones I don't mind if I have them complete or not. Um, but uh, I absolutely love it. Like I I was born in ninety five, so I didn't have a connection Jeez. with those. That's the year I graduated high school. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, so I don't have the same connection with them, but I can look down at them and sit, like, I, I respect the history of it and to see where those ones come from to what they are now. Yeah. I think that's why I have them in my collection. It's a neat yeah, evolution. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does feel like Christmas morning. I, I, I am. I, I think I'm going to do the three and three. I think I'm going to do the three and three and then I'm going to bring my nineties X-Men poster down and I'm going to put it like right in between those top two rows and then the, the top two shelves there will be uh 90s X-Men. And then uh, the shelf right here will be, uh, this will all be MCU. So I think I'm going to do that. I think, I think, I think thinking this out has helped me to, to conceive that, that that's the way to go. And then uh, maybe I could just do an, another live stream where I unbox all these uh, X-Men figures at once. Like it, like it is Christmas. Yeah. I might pass out from it, from doing them all at the same time. <laughs> So it, um, sometimes we it's fun about, to open like a whole bunch of them in, in like one sitting, you know. I I've done that before with like a wave. Like if I've gotten a wave all at once, or I'll save a wave. Um, because like with Marvel Legends, to to do a figure review, um, if you don't get it early, you're like you're just gonna get lost in like a video like that. So that's where I just try to review the whole wave and I'll I'll open them all at once. But yeah, um, I did. But yeah, that is fun to open them all at once. I did a live unboxing of all of the uh, the Clone Wars ones, and that was that was fun because people were like, "Don't do it," <laughs> uh, and I and I did it. <laughs> so everybody feels old now, Brandon. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, Gary says, uh, Brandon, have you switched out the yellow saber in the vintage Luke for Obi Wan blue one? Um, 
I have not yet. I do have two farm boy Lukes, and I have multiple Obi Wan's, so I could, I could do that. That's a good idea. Oh my God! G Force graduated college in '95, so I wanted to. Um, we were we were asking about Blue Beast, so I'm gonna share the screen here real quick. Give me a sec. All right. So here are the Blue Beast uh, Toy Biz. So well, that's uh, the 12-inch, those big ones. Oh, the icons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know. So okay, cool. 25 is not bad. Yeah, and it's decent representation of the figure. It's it's yeah, definitely the head sculpt isn't as good, but it's it's fun. That's not bad. I mean that that that's a decent supplement until they re-release one. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Twenty-five Wait. ten. So that's thirty-five. Here, actually, let me do this. Let me do sort by lowest first. What is that thing? Oh, it's a it's five ninety-four. <laughs> yeah, twenty-five. So this would be the least expensive one. If you want one, I got. I've got an extra one hanging around. I'll I'll send it your way. No way, really? Yeah. What am I gonna do with it? It's just sitting in a tote. I got my blue beast. I got my my Hasbro. I'm good. But dude, I, this one's not that bad though. Yeah, that's the that's one not, I got. Yeah, that's not that bad at all. That's a cool one. All right, we we solve the mystery. Do this. All right, cool. All right, guys. Anything else? It's uh, it's twelve thirty. I mean, I, I have nothing else to do. If you guys want to keep hanging out, but I don't want to like awkwardly keep you here. <laughs> you don't want to be here. But anything else you guys want to talk about or look? I mean, we can look up stuff or. So what are you going to do after the detox? What's the next project? Oh, good. So, all right. So I'm going to assemb assemble the detoffs. I am waiting to order um, lights because they're out of stock. So I, um, uh, there's a channel called Jetta Patrol and he did a review of these lights he got. And they're the most amazing lights I've seen for a detoff. And they're, they're actually made and designed for the detoff. So it's all measured out exactly the, the specs of the detoff right down to the wires that run. Uh, and the wires are the same color as... Um, it was like the, the gray the, uh, metal rods. Yeah. yeah. The, the gray poles. So it, it all just blends in together and then they come with a diffuser that sits them on an angle. So it, it just lights them up beautifully. And then uh, they all tie in together to a control box. So uh, do you guys want, I could show you the, the brand if you guys want to see it. Yeah. Um, sure. sure. So um, I probably shouldn't show it to anyone. Cause I, it's like impossible to get them. They keep selling out make it harder on myself let me find it nope all right what is it? oh it's the luke light i think wow why is this hard to find now those aren't the ones that they sell at ikea right no they're different okay let me let me go to this real quick i'm sorry guys i gotta find it because i almost got the ones that they built for the detolf at ikea but i decided against them i i uh i did too. Uh, supposedly they're not very good that's from what i was reading i have heard that they are not that bright so yeah they don't get the job done as far as lighting your shelves appropriately now, josh how many lights do you have in there it, is it just on top or do you have them no down? every single one on my shelf is lit I, I wired mine all up with LED tape, and I 3D printed uh, not a diffuser, but like a little slanted rail, so it pitches the light. It actually point, <clears throat> excuse me, it points it down towards the center of the shelf as opposed to just pointing straight down. So right, right, yep. And then did you did you solder all the lights together? I did, yeah. So I, my experience, I had. I've done a bunch of lighting projects prior to starting uh, lighting up the, the detolfs. And I was using non, non solderless, like little clips with right. the LED tapes. Yeah, yeah. And I found that the connection that you would get from that was very, very touchy at times. Yeah. So you'd be across the room and you would just notice like slightest a flicker. And right. you don't, you probably don't notice unless you're the person who wired it up. So every time it, it, 
starts going off on you like that, you just, it, it drives me nuts. So I, I finally just, my brother kept encouraging me to, to learn how to solder. And, and I just took the time to, to figure it out and do it right and didn't look back. So it's, it, it's a little bit cumbersome, but if you put in a little bit of work when you're first doing it and get it out of the way, it, I mean, it, the results speak for themselves. Right, right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. those little um, solderless contacts, I, I had the same problem. Uh, yeah. It, it, if I looked at them weird, I, I swear you, they would start to do that little, you know, yeah, I, I didn't have any luck with those either. I mean, in theory, they, they it was a good idea. And, Absolutely. you know, they clipped together nice, but it, it just didn't work. Yeah. You know? All right. I finally found these lights. So it's called Luke Light. And it. I watched his review on these and I was instantly sold as soon as I, I saw his review. So um, I'll show you the... Actually, it's probably best it's if I just... literally this. like the same thing I'm doing. It's hilarious. Yep. So you have a you have a diffuser, and it, you could have a clear or or diffuse cover. So I'm going to do the diffuse cover, and then it does it does come in the yellow or the white light. I don't want the yellow light, and then <clears throat> everything like I was saying is is just pre fitted for a detoff. So, but they are constantly sold out. And then you have a hub here, but for me, this was what really sold it on on here was just having that, uh, having it be able to be angled like Josh was saying, so that it's hitting in the middle of the display, and then the diffuser on there um, for the light. Do you have any any electrical experience? Would you feel comfortable trying to solder? I, I have no. That's why this spoke to me because I gotcha. have no equipment, or nor have I ever done it. <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, what I mean that that's where like. To, like what I really like about this is it's measured out and it's just made mm -hmm. for for it and then yeah it, it makes it super simple. So nice. I wish I had those skills or equipment, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that kind of stuff. Well, I've been looking. So some of the other things that I've run lighting for, uh, I've actually gone to Home Depot and I've just bought like Cove molding. So, like, mm -hmm. if you were going to just put molding around the edge of the, your floor or, or a top rail yeah, yeah. somewhere like that, just cold molding, if you cut it to the right size, you can put the LED tape on the inside of it, and it, it will hide from from behind. It, it will take that glare off so you're not looking directly at it, and you can tape them to, like, in the inside angle so it then accomplishes the same thing as what my setup is doing by just pitching it more at the middle of the shelf. So if anybody's looking for inexpensive ways and you don't have a 3D printer, if you're trying to get that type of look, you could probably get away with it with uh, that molding. Yeah, see, you're, you're so much more handy than I am. I'm good at spreadsheets. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have that skill set. Um, uh, Left Coast is asking about uh, where are you gonna put your razor press? So I did not order one, but did, did any of you guys order the razor press? I did. AJ, where are you where are you gonna put yours? Uh, no idea. <laughs> um, I, I one thing with it, they they said um, you can display it with only one wing on, basically, uh, because it is twenty inches wide. So oh, my really? top wow. shelf up there is, um, I think it's twelve inches, and it, you know I had the two gunships up there. Um, and I don't have the other wing on them either. Right. Um, so I'm guessing that, we'll, we'll, you know, I'll do the razor crest the same way. The good thing, AJ, is if it falls from up there, you can just leave it on the floor as is, and you can just recreate the scene <laughs> when it got blown up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Are they going to, are they going to Star Trek? Are they going to Star Trek us where then you have like the razor crest A? <laughs> they just rebuilt same ship. I hope not. I hope not. I wish I so had I, bought uh, more than one. Um, oh, yeah, they're, they're going to be really just so I could sell a second one. You know, if you look at how much like the, the Jabba sail barge goes much. for, oh, it's, I mean, it's crazy. Two grand is the average price on that now. Um, I ordered the. Uh, I did order the Sentinel though, 
So I'm I'm yeah. really excited to get that Sentinel, man. That thing is that thing is yeah. going to be awesome with uh, the different heads, and you got the the little Sentinel figures, and you got the arm, you know, that the claw or the uh, um, arm that uh, extending arm, what have you. I cannot wait for that. And that thing is humongous too. Yeah, I think it's 26 inches. When they when they dropped that, I was like, "There's no way I could possibly spend that much money on that figure." And after seeing it, I'm kicking myself for not putting in an order. So Dude, it, Galactus hits like I'm gonna be yeah. day one. I'm ordering <laughs> Galactus. I've already set up my Fantastic Four Detoff to where it should be just the right size to where I can position Galactus outside, like he's trying to get to him from outside of the Detoff. So I I, I need that in my life. Something I haven't fierce. done it. I haven't done any Haslab, but I have fallen into the Hot Toy and Sideshow. Oh, dude! All um, right, all right. So oh good. my God! You're hang on. You got to get the big screen for that. Oh yeah, definitely not me. You. What, is that, the, what are they calling that? The Mythos line or whatever? This isn't the Mythos oh, one. The so Mythos cool. is more the statue, but okay. uh, you can see his clone armor there yeah, and uh, um. Gaffy sticks and the blasters, and he comes with Qui Gon's lightsaber, Anakin's lightsaber, and his lightsaber. Oh, uh, those those little goggles go on his face, and I'm guessing they're thermal. Um, they're a little bit the side. This is a sideshow one, and it's different than the Hot Toys because it it oh, wow. is like a cylinder, so it pops off easier. Um, but it it is just they're absolutely amazing. And it, is uh, it posable? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can even... The backpack is kind of hard to take off, but yeah, I can... Do, oh, do you mind man. if I ask, how, how much do those run? So I had a $25 off and then shipping, but these this one was $240. Oh, and man. then you, you can do payment plans in multiple different ways for them. So I have a Qui-Gon Jinn back there uh, in his Phantom Menace right before he faces off against Maul. Um, but they come with so much stuff like, yeah. um, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan didn't come with different heads, but most of the hot toys do come with different heads. There's like five different pairs of hands. Uh, the Qui-Gon comes with like the com tech, um, a little holograph thing with, um, Yoda, Mace Windu and the, the Nubian ship, uh, he, it comes with a Tatooine poncho. Like it, it I, at, at first I was like freaking out about the price of them, but now that I've held them and they come with nice stands um, and oh, just the, the quality of it all. Like I, come I on, pretty... Brandon, finish the thought. I, I didn't want to spend it, but now that I've got it in hand, I've got three it's more worth. in my cart ready to go. <laughs> okay, so they they recently canceled my or they didn't cancel. They were going to postpone my R two D two until like November or December. So I just canceled it. It was only a sixteen dollar deposit, but I've got my Qui Gon. I've got this sideshow, and then I've got <sighs> Clone Wars Ahsoka, Clone Wars Maul. Uh, this hot toy Anakin all on pre-order. Wow. <laughs> They'll look great. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I always uh, wanted to get into those. Just, you know, the, the cost of it. And I, I had figured 20 years ago. Yeah. By the time I'm 40, I won't be buying, you know, three and three quarters figures or six inch figures. I, I will have transitioned to, Hot toys and, and sideshow. Yeah. It but it, it never happened. Yeah. So if I can share my screen here quick. Um oh yeah. Hang on. Let me so how do I let you share a screen? Uh, one second here. I'll uh uh share screen. screen okay, and then I just make that add to stream. Nice. Yeah. So let's take this figure oh. okay and it's just 260. this is um, dangerous friend this uh, dangerous pre, you can pre you can do a firm or klarna and stuff like that so like you could do 86 dollars for three months you could do 45 dollars for six months or you could do 23 dollars for 12 months 
And that's, that's, that's what I some high interest, man. Wow. Well, it, it's not actually that bad when you think about it. Like it's two sixty, and then you end up paying just twenty one extra dollars over a year. And they just they like ship layaway, it away, baby. Just yep. like layaway. <laughs> well, they ship it to you right away. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's cool. There's want that say, option. Want to say hi to Gary? Sorry, Brian. Want to say hi to Gary, no, Gary whose good. wife is going to freak out when the Razor Crest turns up. <laughs> and then there's this option where you can pay pay in like two or three, and then they ship it to you after it's all paid. So there's mm. also that one. That's right. really cool having those options. So, so yeah, there are I, options. I, mean, I have looked at it. Um, I, you know, I wish I had gotten like uh, fives and echo the the R Trooper versions they had, and just, a lot of them are super cool. I I don't know. I just never did it. Or the Mandalorian. I mean, that would be awesome to have too. Yeah. When they announced that uh, the Mandalorian version of Rosario Dawson's uh, yeah. Ahsoka, oh, that was dude, the one. Yeah. I was like. Okay, I'm I'm gonna treat myself uh, like the way I'm looking at, at a hot toy for me because I would really only be able to have like a handful of these, but I would say it would have to be like the definitive version of that particular mm-hmm. character. So I went in, had it in my cart, and I'm like, oh yeah, I was messing around with those payment installments, and then as I'm getting ready to check out, I see the Captain America, the worthy Captain America, and I was like. <laughs> Oh, but how can, how can I justify <laughs> getting Ahsoka, but I can't get Cap? So I'm looking at adding Cap to the cart, and then before you noted those $80 installments, now you're back up to $160 every month, and it's like, I just can't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't right. do it. Yeah. That that worthy Cap is, it's is so good. cool, too, dude. Dude, and he's got the little, the, the his hand has the little Peggy, Peggy Carter locket in it. It's just like, Oh. And then it, they give you so many accessories that you're like, well, I if I had like two or three other bodies, at least I could do all the the, the displays and and right. them the way that I wanted to using featuring all the accessories. But yeah, anybody who's got that, good luck, man. Holy smokes! <laughs> I I really speaking of worthy, worthy cap, I I hope at some point um, they do re-release the worthy cap broadly. Because that uh, that's one I missed out on because it's a Walmart exclusive and uh, it's it's just eighty to hundred dollars now, so there's no way I'm paying for it. I would love to have a worthy cap. Yeah, I've, me too. I bought and sold off like six of those when they were out. It, like I I had them in my hand so many times. If I'd have known you were looking for them, uh, it's well, you know, for, draw for me with the uh, Marvel Legends, I just really got back into it this year. Um, the the X Men, you know, Rogue was when I saw this one, I was like, all right, you know what? I guess I'm going to start getting Marvel Legends again. Um, yeah. So for you me to track down those, the last those older figures, I mean, is it they're expensive? <clears throat> they are expensive. Before the Rogue re release, that was another eighty to hundred dollar figure. Jubilee yeah. was super expensive too. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, G- Gambit was interesting because Gambit. I got Gambit for like thirteen or fourteen dollars off Amazon, and then a month later he was like forty. It just it's crazy. It just like totally. It right. still doesn't Jumper. make any sense, like because you can be swimming in them in them in certain areas in the country, and right, then right. other people haven't seen new figures on the peg forever. It's just right. ridiculous. Yep. Well, yeah, it's it amazing how, how much... that works. Yeah. Well, when I was in Philly, I stopped at. Uh, one Delaware and then two in uh, like around King of Prussia area where I was staying. And um, the first two had a bunch of figures and uh, Marvel legends figures. No, no one had any star Wars. And then the, the, it was finally the 13th target I stopped at. I found all the whole Clone Wars wave was there and there were multiple figures. So it, it's, uh, it's just amazing how some places have no figures. And then that place had, it was five deep of every single figure. That's crazy. I was so happy when I saw it too. <laughs> like, oh, just, finally. Yeah, I still haven't seen them actually on the shelf anywhere. That those Clone Wars. I had to like ask the employees to go get them for me. Yeah, I don't understand why they make it so hard. Yeah. And uh, what's up, Crazy Eight? Weird. It says Brandon went down the rabbit hole. Yes, he did. 
Now you're gonna well, have to get like a, a display for those, man. I, so like, so if you have a hot toy, do you put that in like if, in its own detox shelf, or do you put have maybe like two or three in there? I so when I get Clone Wars, Ahsoka, and Maul, I'll probably do those together, and then yes, um, oh, that'd be so yeah. cool. And then I might rotate it so Ahsoka and Anakin are standing next to each other every once in a while. And then even though it's not the right Maul, I'll have Maul with Qui Gon. And then this one will probably just be on its own unless I want to do um, Anakin, Obi Wan, and Qui Gon all standing next to each other in you know different you know stages of their lives. Um, but that's uh, a cool idea too, man. Yeah, because I mean, kind of like how their lives are intertwined too. Like the, you yeah. know what I mean. Like it, that's one of my favorite parts of the Star Wars mythos is is uh, Obi Wan and Maul. Yeah. I, I yeah. actually think if you recut the Clone Wars and just made um, everything involving Maul and Mandalore, that would be an incredible stand. You, it'd probably be enough for, to have like a trilogy worth of a movie almost, or at least two movies if you cut all those. But um, I think that's some of the best storytelling in, in all of Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. And I, if this. I actually, oh, oh, go sorry. ahead. No, I was going to say it. if this Obi Wan was a little bit older, it would be great for that that mall versus yes. Obi-Wan scene. Um, I mean, I'm still going to take pictures of it when I have them together. Uh, but. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's the Leia one. It's the Leia one. He got hot toys need a detail for sure. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Yeah, I, I uh, man, I, I haven't pulled the trigger. The one I saw today, uh, I don't think it's a hot toy, but did you guys see like the two hundred fifty dollars Hulkbuster? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That thing that's, looks incredible. That's in scale with Legends, isn't it? Yeah, I, thought I think I saw it, that is. it was one twelfth scale. Yeah. yeah, it was like two hundred fifty dollars though, but that thing looked incredible. Um, yeah. John Joker has the sideshow and the hot toy one. The hot toy one is still in the box. And the sideshow one is the one that he has on display. And the sideshow one is the size of his torso. Uh, it is no way. Yeah, I for, I'll I'll get the measurements quick, but the sideshow one is huge. Sideshow did an excellent video where they were, or no, um, Adam Savage's tested did a whole photo shoot with that Hulkbuster with the the Tony Stark inside of another Iron Man suit inside of the Hulkbuster. It was incredible. Oh, that's cool. Find a secondhand table with a round top and paint it like a landing pad. That's a really cool idea. Wants the OG armor Mando. So this one is the... All right, let me share. Add to stream. Oh, my God. $824. Jeez. Holy cow. Oh. So there's an Iron Man within it. Yep. It's all sold out now. But this is different than the one does that the he Iron has. Man, but does the Iron Man fully eject out of him? I'm yeah. That's what I'm clicking through to figure out. Why are there yeah, so many pictures? Oh, there's only five pictures. Yeah. Um but you can why is it a different picture? It's like the size of his torso. Like that's does that does it in fact come with the extra Tony Stark? Because I thought that that might have been sold separately. Features, uh, let's see, that's forty three bust bust inside. So I'm guessing it's not. Dude, that's still crazy. Yeah. Oh. Now, as cool as that is, I, I just don't think I can spend with tax, See? you know, over nine hundred dollars. Yeah, I told you, it's going to be over a thousand if you want it to look like that. Yeah. Wow. There, I mean, I don't know, dude. That just seems excessive. Yeah. Oh wait. Well, yeah. I mean, you really got to love you some Hulkbuster to pony that. <laughs> <laughs> There's the. Jeez! Wow. Good. 
I mean, I mean you can buy a used car for that amount. It's amazing. Yeah. It, right. I mean, it was aw- it was awesome when you the first time I saw that movie and you're watching Hulk fight the Hulkbuster, right? I mean, that that's like what dreams are made of, but it, it's <laughs> right. not a thousand dollars cool. <laughs> no, me. and I could never. I could never spend that much on no. on one one thing. It's really cool though. I mean, that is super cool. I'd like someone to get it and I can go admire it at their place. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think which video uh that that show, the hot toy show that Mark has started doing with me, um, or that I've started doing with Mark. John Joker showed off his his sideshow one and then the box. For the other one so i don't know if i can find a clip for it and show you guys but uh it is huge and it's like almost 20 pounds for the the figure wow well. yeah. so i want to say uh everyone watching if you haven't uh please check out uh aj's and uh brandon's uh, youtube channel uh, give them a subscribe and lots of likes and then uh, be ready to subscribe to uh josh's which will be i'm sure cap 10 america um once uh once he's ready to go here hopefully soon man but uh, always support uh, the community and especially these guys they're good dudes really cool just hopping on at short notice and um again just want to thank everyone this nice send off to the nerdery 1.0 and you know, next time you guys see it, it's going to look uh, totally different, which is going to be really cool. But, uh, you know, thanks, everyone, for coming on to uh, to celebrate the end of an era, to honor the toy gods. And then uh, it, was, it was fun thinking out strategy and ideas. And I got some great ideas from this chat and it, it's going to make the display even better. But I, I think I think I've talked myself into bringing the X-Men down here. I, th- I think I think it's going to happen. So we'll see. But so now but the challenge is if I have two that are comic and then one that's mcu i also have my spidey display that i kind of feel is a top shelf worthy too you know so if if i do 90s x-men i can really only take i guess the one shelf for it to be top row and then what do i do when um when the sentinel comes because that thing Mm. is huge that won't fit on a shelf will it Mm-mm. I think I think if I took a glass shelf off, it would fit. Yeah, because each shelf is is sixteen. I think that would. Oh, never mind. Why? <laughs> I was gonna say if you took it off and you had it underneath where it would look like he was like trying to like get to him from from underneath, that would that would be fun to experiment with. It could be fun because you could have them crawling all over him, yeah. like all the figures position crawling all over him. And then you could get uh, some of the clear wire and have storm and rogue flying and some other stuff like that. That could be a lot of fun, man. It's a good problem to have when that shows up. So, but uh, it, it's almost one. So probably should <laughs> go to sleep soon. <laughs> but uh, uh, again, I just want to thank you guys for hopping on. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, um, sure. this, this was much more fun than just do. I was just going to do a video. So thank you guys. This was way more fun to hang out and, and have you guys on. So, and again, everyone, please check out YouTube channels, apprentice, Ewok, walk uh, drugs, cat, Brandon, and AJ, and uh, be ready for Josh is coming soon. Anything else guys? No, thanks no, for the good, invite. Good to hang out. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. And thank, thanks to everyone watching. And, and just, again, this was spur of the moment. So thank you guys so much, man. That was really cool and appreciate hanging out with all you guys and uh, hope everyone has a great weekend. And if you're in the States, have a great uh, Memorial day weekend. Enjoy the extra day, uh, extra day off for all of us, which is much needed. Definitely. Yeah, all right. Sweet dreams, everybody. See, right, see y'all. Wakanda forever. <laughs> all right. <laughs>